So, making this video to talk about the current transit of Venus and its relationship to Saturn. So, Venus entered Capricorn end of last week, like I think it was Thursday, and set up an exchange with Saturn, which means Saturn is now in Libra and will be there for almost three years. And Venus now entered Capricorn, which is ruled by Saturn. Then it's going to go into Aquarius, which is also ruled by Saturn. Then Venus will be exalted. Venus has is going to be in really good dignity for the next several months it, through the middle of next year. But we're going to talk about that right now. The thing that I really wanted to discuss now is this relationship between Venus and Saturn now has really set up something interesting because Saturn went into Libra November 15th. I believe that was the first day. And since then, there really has been so much energy focused around the sign of Scorpio and the planet Mars and Jupiter aspecting Mars. It's been a lot of fire, a lot of individuality, a lot of intense emotional passion related to things that have to do with Mars energy especially because we had the eclipse in Scorpio. The sun just left Scorpio and went into Sagittarius the end of last week as well. The sun went into Sagittarius and Venus went into Capricorn almost exactly the same time. So there's a lot of there was a lot of emphasis that that shifted from this Mars Scorpio nature and it shifted away from that into something very different and I did a video last week about the sun in Sagittarius aspected by Jupiter and Saturn so we felt much more of a kind of liberation and and freedom and kind of um, unburdening of that like heavy Scorpio energy that was so prominent since the beginning of November because since the beginning of November what happened was we had Mercury and Venus entered Scorpio actually and then Mercury defeated Venus in Scorpio in a planetary war for like a, like several weeks and then the Sun moved into Scorpio and then Mars was aspecting the whole thing and then we had the eclipse so since November it's been this heavy Mars energy plus Mars has been in Leo aspecting so there's a lot of like individual willfulness and a lot of like you know Mars and Leo is very oriented towards winning the fight Leo is about the king it's like fixed fire so it's stubborn fire stubborn individuality stubborn it's not just stubborn it's also about consistency but Mars is like the general and so you know I kind of say that when Mars is in Leo it's kind of like a military dictatorship because the Sun is the king and the Sun belongs on the throne the Sun is the one who rules the kingdom when Mars is there it's like you know Mars is the general the army so it's like the general is on the throne which is like a military dictatorship so it's kind of like that transit of Mars going through Leo is kind of like a military dictatorship and it was aspecting Scorpio since November we've had a lot of this energy well now what happened is and this kind of over shadowed the impact of Saturn and Libra because Saturn you know quietly slipped into Libra but all this Scorpio and Mars intensity was going on so we kind of felt it but we really kind of didn't but we're gonna feel it now and what that means I mean now unless you have a planet in Libra I happen to have the moon there so I have really felt it but if if you have several planets in Libra then you really felt Saturn go into Libra but if not it might have been kind of overshadowed but now we're all gonna feel this a lot more because Saturn and Venus are going to be exchanging now what this means is Saturn is in Venus's sign Libra and and Venus is in Saturn's sign Capricorn then it's gonna go into Saturn's sign Aquarius so Venus is gonna be in Saturn signs for a couple months till at least um, early mid February I don't have it off the top of my head I think it's early February so what this means is that we're going to really feel the impact of our social decisions, relationship decisions, and how well we've been maintaining the social contract. We're going to really feel this Saturn and Libra now because this is why Saturn is exalted in Libra because it gives us the awareness of consequences as it relates to our social doings. And this means that if we've, been, if we've made mistakes in our literally like our romantic relationships but in our relating with others we're gonna feel the guilt and the suffering and the stress of those mistakes now 
more, we'll feel it more because Venus is more dignified. While Mars was so strong, it was overshadowing it because we were just asserting our individuality. Now that has calmed down quite a bit, and Venus is really prominent in Capricorn, and it's exchanging with Saturn, bringing those two things together. Venus is where we want to have that connection that Mars may have destroyed. Venus is where we want to have that. We want to flow with beauty and love and grace with, with others. And the fact that it's exchanging with Saturn, who's in Libra, shows that we're going to be aware of how our willingness to be of service to um, the truth and the, high, and the higher qualities of the social contract have helped us or hindered us lately, you might say. And especially in the aftermath of all this Scorpio energy and these planets in Scorpio and all this heavy Mars energy, it's been hard on relationships. People could have, there could be a lot of, you know, there could have been a lot of breaking up and battling lately over asserting our individuality and people getting triggered and stuff. I've wrote quite a bit about this, but now, however we handled all that, we're going to really notice because Saturn is in Libra. And really the reason Saturn is so powerful is because Saturn just shows consequences. Saturn doesn't punish us. Saturn shows consequences. And if we've been acting from a place of humanity and we've been willing to be humble and to be truthful about, let's say, what's been going on in our relationship situation, and we've continued to show up for someone else, let's say, um, regardless of what we were getting back, or we kept with our humanity and we kept with our, um, you know, that love in our heart, let's say, then Saturn in Libra and you know, being activated by the Venus in Capricorn is going to allow us to really live with those decisions, live with the situation and, and know, okay, I showed up, it didn't work out, and be fine with that. Be um, committed to, um, you know, the realization that you acted from a place of, you know, love and um, commitment and that you were willing to, like, let's say, work it out or you were willing to face yourself and your, and your own mistakes and all like that. This is why Saturn's great in Libra, because Saturn is where we are aware of our mistakes, we're aware of time unfolding, and we treat things precious, you know, with pr preciousness and delicacy. And in Libra, which is about our social interactions, it's really good for that. But those who did not honor that, who, let's say, acted from a place of arrogance, acted from a place of punishment, acted from a place of trying to dominate another person's vulnerability, they're going to feel the pain of that now. They're going to feel the pain of that now if they have a conscience. If not, they'll feel the pain of it later. But they could very well feel the pain of it now because they'll want the connection. And it ain't there, probably. It's gotten destroyed. I mean, this is an extreme example, like if people have broken up. But even in recent interactions, if, if you've been arrogant with that energy, with that Mars energy, and just been like, well, I don't need you anyway, and gotten really haughty about it, but it's, but it's been more sort of anger or trying to prove to yourself that you're strong or some kind of lower form of Mars, you could very well feel it now that, vi that Mars, I'm sorry, that Saturn and Venus are exchanging because Saturn shows us the results of consequences, the consequences of our actions. If your actions have been connected to a place of love and heart and humility, then you're not going to feel the suffering of that. But if they haven't, you may very well feel that like guilt and that desire to apologize perhaps or to try to repair it. Um, this is why Saturn is good in Libra because we actually will reach out in our moment of embarrassment and stress and when we see the consequences of our actions, we'll actually reach out to the other and want to make it better. The reason it's debilitated in Aries is because Aries is individualized and we say, no, damn it, I'm right, and that's it. And we kind of hang on to this, like, even when we're suffering, we suffer, and we're determined to keep suffering. Saturn in Libra is more willing to reach out and to reestablish the social bond and social contract. So I've seen several people now who've, who have talked about this transit, you know, where recently they're really becoming aware of consequences and some mistakes that they've made recently with this. And it's also very prominent because Saturn has been aspecting the sun. I talked about that also last week, so bear these things in mind. Venus, Saturn exchange, big for relationship 
truth.